We have come a long way. 20 years is a long time. It goes very quickly, you know. And uh, when we first started, we had uh, a few, just three beds with hardly, you know, just a ventilator and nothing else, you know. But we slowly, very, very slowly, the first 10 years was difficult. And we managed to get it to six beds. And uh, then when the fund uh, was started in 2000, uh, in the year 2001, then, um, you know, that there was a really an uptake of uh, the amount of uh, equipment that we could buy and purchase. So, if you look around, look at all the expensive equipment, we have uh, five, uh, like the Rolls Royce of the ventilators, they are all purchased from public funding, you know, all by the Malaysian public. And uh, we have also probably the largest unit of that uses uh, non-invasive ventilation in, I would say, the world, because we. We, we just published our data and we were told that this is the largest series so far. To make way for one patient, we would have to move, find a, a place. First of all, we have to find the patient that can go out and then we have to find a place for them to go out too. You see, because the other wards also have uh, difficulties accommodating our patients. So we would have to find a place and then move the patient out to get our patient in. So it is a lot of the time is like looking for beds elsewhere to, to move our patients out to. Being able to help patients whom we think that hmm, we will say don't waste your time. You know? So that we say that no, you know, if we don't help them, who's going to help them? So we said that we'll do that. When my doctors, they graduate from this unit, they go to other places, and then that's when they, they, they feed back to me that, uh, oh, some, some patients, you know, they are told, don't, worry, don't, don't bother with them, they're not going to make it. Then my doctors who have worked with me, they'll say, no, you know, you can help them. It's a team, you know. I always tell them that there's no queen here. The queen, <laughs> if you think I'm the queen, I have to get my hands dirty. So there's no queen. Everybody has to do that part. Everybody. Because we can only work maybe 8 hours, 10 hours. And the rest, when we go home, who's staying going to take care? It's a team. The rest of the team has to work. So it's teamwork. Team work from the, 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 the doctors who are on call, or the nurses who are on duty. They have to, to work and keep things going. So we work as a team. And we try to, to help them to learn, to recognise. To, to recognize certain things early so that we can intervene early rather than late. So this is how we, we make the vote. Everybody learn to move forward. So on behalf of the University Hospital, uh, uh, University Malayan Medical Center, the Pediatric Department and the Pediatric Intensive Care Unit, I would like to thank all the parents for putting their trust in us for taking care of the lives of their precious little children. During normal checkup, uh, my wife was over during the seven month pregnancy. Confirm I detected up uh, detected the uh, CDH confirm. So we will uh, every month come and follow up. My baby already one year and five months, now almost recovered. Everything is special for me. She's so caring. Masa times student, actually kita tak expose sangat uh, dekat pis ICU. I I pernah pergi just one shift je sekali je. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly bila dia orang cepat dia orang nak kerja kat pis ICU, actually macam quite terkejut jugaklah and then first time kita see all this um, wonderful machine and then patient pun uh, from small baby until the size semua so very nervous lah the first time I'm very nervous at the moment we managed to 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 do it if you have more it will be better we better the care at the moment also we try our best the most rewarding that I can say from my 20 years of experience in pediatric is that when you see the child is getting better, it's worth more than your salary. When you see the child graduated from this intensive care, 
and go to the other one and then went home. That's the the best moment.